We're in Microsoft Windows 10 safe mode. As you can see in the corners, you see safe mode everywhere. And I'm going to show you different ways you can fix your PC crashing, assuming that it's not a hardware problem, which of course safe mode may not be able to fix. So one of the things you can do is you can scan for malware. So go to the start button, click on settings. And from there, we can go to update and security. You can then go to Windows Defender, and you can make sure your uh, protection is turned on for Windows Defender. Just click on Use Windows Defender. There's a link there. And you can turn on uh, the scan just by clicking on the full option and click Scan Now. So it's running through a scan. If it finds any viruses, you'll be able to kill them off at that point. All right, so let's look at another way we can use uh, safe mode to fix our computer problems. You can use the reset my PC option. And what that does is it allows you to reset everything back to factory defaults. So if you click on keep my files, obviously it'll keep your files. But if you hit remove everything, it's going to format the drive and remove everything. So be very careful with this. Make sure you have a good backup if you have any files you want to save. You can also go into control panel, all control panel items, and then recovery. And you can uh, choose to configure system restore or open system restore. So you have to have already had system restore on. So make sure that you already create a... Uh, system restore point. Uh, so in this particular case, this is turned off, so I wasn't able to do this. But um, before you run into problems, make sure you go to configure system restore. And you don't have to do this in uh, safe mode, you can just do it in, in regular mode. And you want to actually you know, configure system restore to uh, you know, keep this kind of thing from happening where your computer gets corrupt and you can't you know, recover from it. Another very popular thing you could do is Go back into Control Panel and go to Device Manager, and you can update your drivers. Now, one of the most uh, common drivers that needs to be updated is going to be your display adapter or your video card. So, you, as long as you boot it into safe mode with networking, or you've already downloaded the drivers earlier, you can uh, take those drivers and you can update simply by going Update Driver Software, locate the drivers on your computer and then go ahead and update. If it's an executable file, you can just go ahead and run the executable and it'll automatically update as well. And you can just reboot and go right into it. Um, and one other thing that uh, I definitely recommend that you do if you have some kind of computer expertise is go into the administrative tools and control panel and click on event viewer. So double click on that. And then event viewer is gonna give you some really good information on what is going wrong with your computer. So uh, you go to the Windows Logs, and typically you'll go to System, because that's the operating system itself. And you'll go through the, uh, the ones that say error or warning, uh, that, that kind of thing, anything red or yellow. And then you can look up online as to what could be causing those particular errors, and then you can go back into safe mode and fix those if you need to. Uh, beware that the event viewer does take a little bit of time to come up so look at all those different errors we've got so what we can do is we can copy these uh, errors and then go online and say okay these errors are what i'm getting on my computer how did other people fix that problem or even use it for when you call microsoft if you want them to help you troubleshoot uh, you can also look at application errors as well. Sometimes applications will cause uh, the server or the computer to crash and you might be able to, to use those uh, as well So that shows you multiple different ways you can use safe mode in order to repair your Windows 10 computer.